um, meatballs. And the thing that's a bit different about these meatballs, apart from the fact that they've only got five ingredients, is that we're going to bake them. So it makes it uh, so much easier than trying to pan fry. Remember the first time I made meatballs, I was following this recipe and, you know, they just fell apart in the pan. Whereas what we're going to do is just um, bake them in, in, a, uh, in a layer of tomato sauce or tomato passata and it just makes it so much easier. Um, and the other thing that's a bit different about these meatballs is that they're, they're gluten free, so there's no breadcrumbs in it. But I've tried, I have tried making meatballs without any, like just with meat, and I found that the texture, you kind of don't get that softness that, that you get in a meatball, and it's, um, there's something quite, kind of quite special about meatballs. So, how I've overcome that is by using some ground almond or almond meal, and that just gives you the lovely kind of meatball soft texture um, and softens the flavour a little bit, but you still get the wonderful meatiness. So, We'll hop into the kitchen and I'll show you how to make them. So first thing for the meatballs, I've pre got the oven on to preheat to 200C, which is 400F, and I've just uh, finally chopped an onion, just one brown onion or yellow onion, uh, but yeah, any onion is going to be good. And I'm just cooking that over kind of a medium heat in a little bit of olive oil. Um, and all we want to do is just kind of slightly, um, we just want it to soften really, so if it goes a little bit brown, that's fine. Uh, but that's pretty much, we'll just leave that to cook. It'll take about five minutes or so. Um, oven proof baking dish here. So we'll just get, I'm using tomato passata, but kind of any tomato pasta sauce will we'll do, just a big jar. Or you could just use a couple of tins of tomatoes if you prefer. So, um, just, um, either, any of the above squid really. So, then I've got, um, in, in my bowl here, I've got 75 grams, that's about three ounces of almond meal or ground almonds, and some um, pork and veal mince that I, I bought um, that's already mixed, but you can use pretty much, you know, whatever um, meat you like in this. I'm gonna pop our onions in on top of those, and ish. don't worry about them being too hot. Um, it's not gonna, they'll, cook, they'll cool down pretty quickly. And then I've just got a spoon, a bit of salt, quite you know, a big generous pinch. And we're just going to um, mix that all until it, it comes together. And you might find you need to use, use your, get your hands in here, or it's up to you kind of how you do this. And then we just want to get scoops, about a tablespoon, um, you know, kind of no bigger than a golf ball size and it's up to you you can make like teeny tiny meatballs if you like they can be they can be nice i kind of like about medium size uh, if they're too big they take a little too long to cook and then it's also kind of, you want them to be about you know a mouthful Just keep repeating that until all the mix is done so all our meatballs are in the uh, in the pan i'm just going to give them some pepper i forgot to put that in could have put that in with the um with the salt, I just didn't think about that. And then I've got some butter, and this is optional. You could use olive oil if you prefer, but I liked, I think butter really um, yeah, adds lovely, kind of calms down the acidity of um, tomato sauces and just kind of balances them out and makes them really lovely without being like you know, overtly creamy. But olive oil will do the same thing, uh, but I'm just gonna have a couple of knobs of butter, dot it over. I like to be quite generous with my butter, but it's up to you how you go with that. And great, so then we'll just pop it in the oven uh, for about 40 minutes. Yes, the meatballs have been in for half, a, half an hour now, and you can see they're all bubbling and they're starting to go quite golden. So um, they're looking pretty done. So if you're a bit cons and they feel they feel kind of feel firm as well, which is a good sign that they're done. If you're a little bit nervous about whether they're cooked through or not, you could always um, just kind of chop, chop into one and have a look, but I'm pretty confident that they're done, so um, they're ready to serve.